What's up guys? In today's video, I'll be detailing my Uber driver's Kia Rio with some pretty nasty seat stains. Now this is going to be an interior detail, but I'm also going to do a basic wash and wax. But before that, if you guys are new, say hi and please hit that subscribe button. Now without further ado, the before shots. First thing I'm doing is removing any garbage or loose objects from the car. In this vehicle there really wasn't much garbage, which was a nice change of pace, so it didn't take me that long. Next step is removing the floor mats. I'm careful when I remove them just so that any of the dirt that's on the mats don't fall onto the carpet, creating more of a mess. Going over the floor mats with the shop vac first, hitting it with a carpet brush just to agitate and bring up any more dirt, and then hitting it with the shop vac again. Finally got my hands on one of these lily brushes I've heard so much about, it actually worked really well. There wasn't too much hair on the mats, but any hair that was on it, it, it did a great job getting it out. I'm then using my fabric cleaner in the chemical sprayer. It's diluted 15 to one, just to soak the mats. I let it sit for a little bit, and then I'm gonna actually drill brush it, and then use the power washer to get most of the cleaner and dirt out. then using the handy little green Bissell machine to extract water and as you can see it's really not that dirty and it's because like the power washer just kind of gets rid of most of the dirt.
I do the floor mats first because they're obviously going to be wet even after extracting, so I set them aside and let them air dry. Now for the carpets, I'm doing an initial pass with the shop vac and then hitting it with the drill brush, again just to bring up any more dirt. Now these carpets didn't have any stains on them, they weren't really that bad so I didn't have to use the fabric cleaner and shampoo them. to the seats. First I use the shop vac and make sure to get in between the stitches. Now I'm using the same fabric cleaner I used on the floor mats with the same dilution, 15 to 1. This was actually the first time I experienced the seats being dirtier than the carpets. And you'll see a little later how much dirtier they were. I then work in and agitate the fabric cleaner using the drill brush. You can actually see the stains kind of vanish just from one pass of the drill brush. Now for any tougher stains, I hit it with the steam cleaner and then wipe it down with a microfiber. Some stains were a little stubborn, I couldn't get them completely out, but it's way better than it was. And last step, just like the floor mats, is extracting and you can see how much dirt it actually came out of these seats.
There was this one area by the seatbelt that was a little extra dirty and you can see when I extract it, it's like this bright orange color. As you can see here, just how much dirtier the seat water was from the carpet water. Now onto the door panel and the door jams. I'm hitting the door handle, that little pocket and the window crank with all-purpose cleaner and then using a steam cleaner, only because those are a little more dirty than everything else and then I'm hitting it with an all-purpose cleaner and then wiping it down with a microfiber towel. Now I'm using two different microfiber towels, one for the door panel itself and then one for the door jam just because there's usually more dirt and grease on the door jam and you don't want to spread that dirt onto the door panel. here as well making sure to get that top part of that window first and then cranking it off and doing the rest
So part of this center console had this uh, like deep pocket that had a fabric liner. So I just used all purpose cleaner and then hit it with a steam cleaner just to you know loosen the fibers up and then hit it with a microfiber towel. Next up is the steering wheel, the dash, and the vents. I'm making sure to move the vents and the steering wheel up and down, anything like that, the levers, um, just to get into those areas that you wouldn't be able to if you didn't move them. I'm hitting it with an all-purpose cleaner and then using a detail brush and then wiping it down with a microfiber towel. One of the final stages is hitting any plastic or vinyl with the UV protectant. The one I'm using is from Chemical Guys. It's called Silk and Shine. Now in the video, I only show me using the UV protectant on the door panels. For some reason, I don't know where the footage went. I, maybe I didn't hit record. But I'm also doing the dash, the steering wheel, and the center console with the UV protectant. Now onto the basic wash of the exterior. Now I finally got myself a new foam cannon compared to that really crappy Ryobi one I was using. It's the one I used on that Jeep video. And wow, what a difference. How much foam came out of this thing, it, it's just, it's crazy. Remember, the links to all the products I use are in the description below.
So instead of applying the wax by hand, I'm using a DA polisher and a waxing pad and we'll buffing it out with a microfiber towel. So unfortunately I ran out of daylight and had to stop recording, but I at least wanted to show you just me waxing a couple of the panels. It took me roughly six hours to do the interior and that basic wash and wax. Now on to the final result and the before and after shots. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more detailing videos just like this one. Thanks guys.